Tyreek, you just know it's how the thigh is feeling and how you feel right now. Uh, a lot better, a lot better. Um, you know, just some preventative stuff, um, you know, why I missed the Sacramento game. So, you know, just trying to be as healthy as I can be going into the playoffs. Are you playing tomorrow? Yeah, I'll play playing tomorrow. What do you think you guys have found on these uh, road trips so far? I know it's only been two games, but what do you think you've found? Some joy, you know, just having fun playing basketball and competing against one another, or for one another, excuse me. You guys feel like this is a little bit of a revenge trip for you guys, just taking on the two teams? No, I wouldn't call it revenge. I just call it, you know, just us focusing on uh, what we can control and just being successful for each other. What was the, uh, the breakdown of that? I mean, I got to school these young, you know, these young is, you know, the 21 and 22 year olds, you know, it's just, but it's, a, it's always just fun just to compete. So I'm going against those wings, you know, they're, they're two of the best in our league. So um, you know, it's a luxury that just be able to after practice play one on one. Kyrie, Brad talks about giving you guys the opportunity to be human. What's that mean to you and, and how do you take advantage of that opportunity? You said to be human? To be human, yeah. To, to the opportunity to just be Kyrie Irving and not be what you are in front of all of us, or <laughs> the, the star and all that. Uh, it means a lot. I mean, you know, it means a lot. It's, I could go on for a long time about being human in this business, but uh, I know uh, Brad understands it, so uh, he appreciates uh, all of us and who we are as people first and then as players. You've always been a guy that's been able to space get your shot off when when you're going up against guys that are bigger whether it's you know in the six situations like this and one-on-one -on -one battles or games mm -hmm. what, what is kind of the, the line the process to be able to create the angles that you need to be able to i mean off i've just played against all types of defenders you know what i mean from like avery bradley to going against clay thompson for you know three finals in a row and uh you know going against him now and just playing against bigger defenders i mean i, I don't i very rarely get my matchup as of late, just the, the game, the ways, the way uh, teams have been playing me. I've been getting, you know, if I'm pretty sure tomorrow, I'll probably get Brandon Ingram. Right. So, uh, you know, you just gotta maximize the amount of space you can on those on those guys that have a lot of length, and um, you know, just try to be as efficient as possible. It's gonna be a tough shot. I gotta work, you know, twice as hard as a <laughs> than a six seven guy. I mean, if right. I was six four or six five, I think the game would be a little easier for me. But uh, just try to create space and just be efficient in it. A lot of people want to talk about seeding, but in terms of going into the playoffs, just how how important is it, I guess, to just be hitting your stride and playing the right way, uh, regardless of seeding? That's the only thing. It's the only thing that matters is hitting your seed. I mean, we've seen it. Uh, I mean, hitting your in your stride at the right time, and uh, I think we're all waiting for the stride to you know be hit for us, especially going on the road, playing against high level teams, and being successful. Um, and we just got to take care of that and just you know, continue to build the, the continuity that we need. And the trust, um, you know, and around this time, this is around, around the time you want to get going um, and just feel good about your team and going into the playoffs. It's Lakers, Celtics, we know that. People will hype it up. LeBron, Kyrie going against each other again. Uh, how do you tune that out and focus on it, just the game and not the hype? It's, it's pretty easy. It's, it's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard at all. Um, you know, it's just another game, but, you know, going against a, a great competitor, you know, a teammate like Brian, it's always fun. Um, you know, because you, you just understand that these head-to-head -head matchups probably will happen for a few more years. And, uh, you know, you just want to take advantage of them. Just the great players that you get a chance to play against in our league, you always want to uh, play well. Thank you. Thanks, Gary.